welcome back to Borderlands. In the last episode, we went ahead and took on the big challenge known as Rack Hive. And then we, we proceeded to progress towards the next vault piece. And it turns out there's not another vault piece. Tannis betrays us, and now we are on our way to find Tannis at the Crimson Fast Nest. Um, <clears throat> this, come on, there we go, this game is coming very rapidly to an end, and I think once the series is over, I'm going to do an evaluation of it, because... Or at least in the final episode, I'll talk about my thoughts. Because... I may have been slightly wrong with how I worded the pacing was. But the pacing is weird. I can 100% say that. Um, Just a linear route to the next area with this. Um, To be honest, I'm not too interested in dealing with spider ants, so I might, I might find myself running through this area. What was that? There's a class mod that I probably won't use. But <clears throat> I would say after Crom is where the terrible pacing starts. Even though I feel like there's all this buildup with Nine Toes Sledge, and then you just kind of get like thrown into like Crom at a random time, or like it just comes faster. But we literally dealt with two big issues in the same episode. <laughs> like, I don't know. Pacing is definitely. It definitely gets shorter. <laughs> And, to be honest, I'm kind of okay with that. <clears throat> I wouldn't really change this game at all for, like, what it is. Considering this is one of my favorite games and slash game franchises of all time. That is significantly better. Feel it. Like... <clears throat> No, I'm a plus 69% damage. That, it's that, I, I just can't argue that. Like, this is significantly better than what we got. But, um, yeah, pacing's weird, but I wouldn't change this game. Every issue that, like, I kind of complain about does get fixed in future games. I mean, Borderlands 3. I might end up looking at a PC upgrade for whenever I record that, because... <laughs> we'll, we'll have a very long series when it comes to recording that. hit a million dollars in the thing <clears throat> especially if we don't die um... and we're in a giant room like there was at uh, Sledge's safe house Yeah, 
yeah, that's that's unlucky, but it's okay. Um, we know what we're going up against. Actually, these guys are our level. You know, it, I would complain, but it is kind of nice having a challenge. If you're gonna kill me, perfect. Oh, he has. Perfect. Um, go ahead and upgrade Bloodwing real quick. You know, if we did a new game plus with this, we would be very good. Um. The thing is, I haven't really been using snipers, so I'd rather just increase my reload speed. He dropped an Iridian weapon. We'll take it. Can't complain. Um... Yeah, this... I think we'll unlock this one. We will keep this one though, because it is. It has been nice having multiple. But on to the Crimson Fastness. What's this area look like? Nice, a claptrap mission. Oh, there is a Crimson Enclave, so I wasn't wrong. <clears throat> Alrighty, well. Welcome to this place. Uh, Time to ex It is time to explore, but the fire rate is weird. If there's any complaint I have about it, it's that. It's the weird fire rate. But we Yeah, we want We wanna help this clap trap. Now, is this going to look as easy to get as I think it's going to be, or...? Now, how do I get back up there? Right over here. Perfect. Yeah, the fire rate on this weapon is very interesting, to say the least. But, we turn that in. And, that was our last clap trap. Quick, this way. Perfect, he's gonna give us a chest, I think. Oh yeah, well, hey! <laughs> yep, right here. And... Thank you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take the goodies out of here. You know what, I have a pistol, so I guess we can actually judge this. Not using any of those. <clears throat> Is this a revolver better than mine? No. Mine's got a better fire rate. Oh, there's uh, another thing right there. <laughs> you want me to share, huh? <laughs> Anything back here? Where I <clears throat> don't think I've ever seen this. Also, you're gonna hear. More honking. Still in the city. Um, there. I found out yesterday that 
Mexico, it was Mexican Independence Day, which is really cool. It was when they got their independence, when Mexico got their independence from Spain. So that's pretty cool, but. So that is why there has been a bunch of honking. Because uh, around the city, it just a bunch of people drive around with uh, Mexican flags hanging out of their car. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. genuinely thought I was about to die there. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I'm glad we didn't. Okay. So, doing this, we're going to turn the Echo Console back on. Oh! <clears throat> we now get to go to the next area. So if you're wondering what that noise was, take a drink of water. Stay hydrated. Um, I'm not an overly huge fan of these guys. Cause oh my god! They do a lot of damage. Those are both very much worth selling. Why are we attacking the turret? Okay. Nothing better than what I got. Yeah, not worth it. <clears throat> I do really like how in this game, or in these games, you don't have to buy stuff if you don't want to. You will likely just find something better just by picking it up. Well, welcome to the Crimson Enclave. This place is pretty big, and, uh... We got to activate some stuff. We are going to check. I know I just said how there is like almost never anything better than what we already got, which is very true, but. Oh, nice! I didn't even notice we got that. I'll take this. It doesn't make our corrosive power even better. You can never complain about that. Um, as you can see, we are, we're going to be, there are going to be a lot of enemies here. And Guardians do drop a lot of XP, so if you are falling behind on levels, go ahead and take the time to kill some, <laughs> like... Remember, they they have hefty shields, but once you get the shield down, they go down real easy. I don't think we're allowed to have catcher rides here, so just take everything on foot. But it isn't too bad. You like that? Ooh, the car just went pop pop. Oh, there is a catcher ride over there. Interesting. So, basically... That noise honestly scared me. I thought something just went wrong. Um, I'm 
surprisingly not too worried about the, the turret for that reason specifically. Um, just make your way up through these things. Um, is that on this floor? Yeah, it is. Okay. Just make your way up. Turn the console back on. Call it a day. Um, there might be chests and stuff up here. But if you are interested in enough, you could come grab. I personally... I personally don't really care. What do we have here? Um, we're kind of at the part of the game where we aren't going to find too much stuff that's better than ours. Like, stuff that's better than what we got is going to come very scarcely. So. Like, if we do find it, it's cool, but... I don't always count on it. We are going to grab a catch a ride while we're over here. I didn't think we'd get him here, but it, since we do, might as well use it. Let's get our feet out of the dust. This is only gonna bring us back to the salt. Oh, God. <sighs> You know, I, I was right. You can't use catch a ride here. Okay, well, it's okay. We can walk it. Which way do I need to go? Both ways. Lead the same way, so we'll just go over here. Throw that out. There are a lot of crimson lands here. And to be honest, <clears throat> I'd really be lying if I said I was that interested in fighting. a lot more interested in fighting these guys if if they were my level like I'm three levels higher than everybody they don't have a high XP yield if they were the guardians then maybe also I love having to fight with the outside world to be able to talk but it's okay Just a lot of these guys just seem like a waste of bullets. Like, yeah, I get the XP grows over time, but like... When I don't really need it... And Bloodwing just makes everything go by so much easier. Having Bloodwing, like, what... What feels like constantly is awesome. Okay, we... I'm taking my time to kill those, but these guys right here Why? barely pique my interest. Feel it. 
I legit just... Everybody's just so weak. Um, I'm out of combat ammo. Good job, Bloodwing. I don't even have to kill these guys. <laughs> That's how weak they are. If I don't want to, I don't have to. I've barely gained any XP, and I guarantee you that XP I did gain was from... What's it called? I gotta turn this back into Tannis. So there, there's legit no point in having runners here. Because I gotta go back where I just whoa. That is a lot better than what I got. That's a legendary, but not that much better. You know what? We did not use Mordecai's main class weapons a lot. <laughs> As you can tell. Uh, we didn't even use a rocket launcher. I don't know, I just never really found rocket launchers too great in these games. I know you can do rocket jumping and stuff like that, but I never really cared to learn how to do it. So. I don't know. I guess it's a waste for me, but. Oh well. Um. So can I borderlands my way back, or do I have to like... Okay, perfect. I can borderlands my way back. Oh, hey. Hey, don't worry, I'm interested in killing you. Yeah, your shield only lasts so much. You know, I'm curious to know if we can buy the next SDUs for ammo, because... It isn't very cash money constantly. Oh, we, yes, we can. Are you kidding? Um, okay, well, <laughs> buy max of that. It, you know what? If you need healing, we right want to sell that. Any good shields? No. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and turn this into Tannis. I really hope these enemies didn't respawn. Okay, perfect. Who betrayed whom? Steel has taken the key and is already on her way to the vault. Hey, for me, take the bitch down. You know, before we just <clears throat> up and go and chase her down, let's... I just want to see if we have side missions. No, we do not. Okay, we... We need to go to the salt flats. No... The Echo Network is back on. I'm guessing we have you um, to thank for that. If you need anything at all, remember to use the commerce screen. I'm sure there's something helpful for you there, partner. Yeah, 
You know, it might be worth checking now. Oh, let's go back to New Haven to see if there's anything. Doesn't hurt to check. there isn't then yeah it's still still what's it called okay <laughs> sorry for wasting that time then um, oh yeah um by the way <laughs> um, I will say this pacing <laughs> of the game. We are within the final stretches. And <clears throat> I always kind of forget. It's like, okay, and we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do this. And then in the next episode, we'll finish off the no game. There is no time left. You must reach the vault by any means necessary. We will not get another opportunity in this lifetime. Well, <clears throat> it is our turn to go find the vault. I'm chasing after Command and Steel. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of Lance here. Glass is on the last few grains of sand. You must reach the vault by any means necessary. We will not get another opportunity like this in your lifetime. You know, <clears throat> I would really prefer this not be the final episode. My reason I'm saying this is because I feel like we've left. We haven't really. I want the final area to be taken in on its own. So let's go ahead and kill this. this crate and then in the next episode of Borderlands we're gonna wrap up the game we are at the end I don't think there's gonna be any more side missions left so with that being said <clears throat> Make sure you're prepped and be ready for the challenges that lay before you because it's happening. We are about to reach the vault. 
I'm trying to figure out how to get back, if I'm being honest. I don't think I should have jumped down. But yeah. Well, that is all for this episode. I know it may feel like we didn't do that much. Even though we kind of did when we explored the Crimson Enclave and the Crimson Fastness. But that will be all for this episode. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll be finishing off the game. Have a great rest of your night.